Now, Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa brings you 10 sports. I mean, uh, for me, nothing happened. Um, everyone else is the one making it awkward. Uh, doesn't occupy a single iota of space with anybody. Todd Bowles addressed it last week. Mike McDaniel reiterating the same message today. Whatever those tampering violations were between the Dolphins and Tom Brady, they have no impact on what you're going to see on the field these next couple of days. For the first time this season, Tampa Bay gets the first look at another colored jersey as the Dolphins are in town leading into Saturday's game inside Ray J. A chunk of starters will not suit up in that contest, which is why these two practices are key to see what is going on with this team. David Sheely explains from One Buck Place. Evan, the energy here at One Buck Place was infectious. It was one of those practices that players look forward to because one, they get a chance to hit somebody with a different color jersey, and secondly, evaluate where they are in the thick of training camp. It's all, it's all love out there. We just out here competing, trying to get better. And uh, you know, if we don't, we don't play them, so uh, it's no real beef. It was fun. You get a chance to go against another team. You know, uh, get a chance to. Uh face different type of uh, caliber players. I don't think we had a lot of mental errors like we had during the week in practice. I thought everybody was locked in pretty good. Uh, technique can always get better, but I thought we got some good work done. There were a few standouts in today's practice against the Dolphins. Firstly, center Robert Hainsey. He held his own against the big defensive lineman of Miami. He did leave practice in a cart, but reports say he has avoided a serious injury. It looks to be just cramps for the center. Secondly, Carlton Davis, the cornerback. Great one-on-one -on -one drill against Tyreek Hill. Those reps were really impressive. Lastly, Julio Jones. The word for him today, domination. Dominated one-on-one -on -one drills. Dominated in 11 on 11. We could not film that part of practice, but at one point he went up, made a catch over a guy's head, put both feet in bounds, and the fans went nuts. They cannot wait to see him make plays just like that in a game. Thank you so much, David. Good news on Hainsey, as you mentioned, but wide receiver Russell Gage pulled up lame in the middle of practice. Seemed like a hamstring, but we will know more tomorrow.